hi friends uh, we are about to see the demo for uh, google classroom application uh, which has been already installed uh, here so this particular uh, icon if you are uh, trying to install it from play store go and search for google classroom and you could find uh, the, uh, the result on the top Google Classroom, just select that. Since I have already installed it, it is showing me open option. Uh, if you are new to this one, uh, it will ask you to install it. Just install it, and, uh, and you could find an icon like that. Just open it. Okay, this is the initial window of uh, Google Classroom, and. Uh, I've used I will I'll, I'll just say you I've used two different accounts now okay in my mobile phone I've configured two different accounts one is uh, v.harikrishnan at uh, ks.cas.edu this one okay I'm going to use this one for the teacher okay uh, as a teacher you're going to create a class right so this particular ID will act as a teacher and I've configured my personal account uh, on the other side right so this is my personal account harivi85 at gmail.com and this is going this particular id is going to act as student okay at present i'm not part of any this particular id harivi85 at gmail.com is not part of any class here the things are empty right nothing is shown here so he is not part of any class i'm switching to the teacher id now okay uh, in this ID, I have already created a demo class, okay, which consists of three different students. Okay, uh, for our for our purpose, I am going to create a new class, okay, and uh, this class uh, uh, this uh, class is going to have uh, students from BCA, so I am going to just name this class as BCA, okay. Uh, plus, uh, you have to click the plus symbol on the top right side uh, top corner, and you have two options now: join class and create class, okay. Since this ID is going to be the teacher, he is going to create class. Okay, create class and provide a class name. Here you could see the class name is mandatory. Okay, it is required. It has the required option, so it is mandatory. The other things are optional, but it is wise to give subject information. Okay, so I'm going to give the class name as second B C A and the section as A. A this is not a mandatory thing. Okay. The room number is also not ne necessary, but I am giving it as virtual classroom uh, 01, okay, and uh, the subject is data structures, fine, and you have to click the create button on top, okay, here on top, just click create. Once the class is created, uh, you will get an uh, environment like this okay you will get a view like this okay so we'll just go, go move on to the uh, classes section okay uh, it just directly take it to you inside the classroom i'm going for the home page okay home menu so now it is showing you two classes okay so i have created a demo class uh, previously and now we have created a class called second bcaa this one okay which has zero students okay fine now how to make a student to enroll to your class okay I, how i can add students for second bcaa just open the classroom okay you could find uh, a gear icon on top right uh, here settings icon okay so click on that settings icon and you could find a code here on the general uh, tab you could find a code here just click on this it will be copied okay you can share this uh, code uh, via uh, whatsapp or any social media networking or through messages you can share this to your students okay a student can join your class with this code okay so i've copied it now fine right now i'm going to switch my account okay from teacher to student right so as of now this teacher account is here now i'm switching okay the account is now harivi 85 gmail.com my personal id and he is going to act as the student as of now he has not is not part of any class okay 
he is going to join a new class now okay watch it closely press the plus icon and click join class and uh, it is showing you ask your teacher for the class code then enter it here so i already copied it so i'm going to paste it here i paste the class code and i'm pressing join all right so now you are being a part of the classroom okay shall we check it now whether uh, the student is enrolled to the class or not uh, you could find in the classes section uh, he is part of the class and his teacher name is v hari krishnan at this is coming from the first and last name which you have uh, configured in the account okay so we'll just fix the account and see okay so here you could see the class name and the number of students enrolled for this class fine just open that class and on the bottom corner you could see three different menus and inside that what you want to see is the people menu okay people teachers and students teachers name is v hari krishna computer applications yeah the uh, organization id and student is hari krishna uh, my personal account okay so this is here this one right so we have created a class and uh, this is how you will enroll students inside your classroom the first and foremost thing is you have to invite students to join your class and make sure that everybody joined by seeing the student list okay uh, sometimes the students might be using some different photographs and uh, the ids which will never have their name so make sure that every student of your class is inside this classroom okay fine the remaining things we'll share it in the next video clip thank you